losing B. YouTube. What's up guys? Today we're going to go over the Nuke Town update as well as a couple other little patches and stuff that they have in playlist update, all that stuff. Are you excited about Nuke Town? This actually might be like one of my favorite maps ever in Call of Duty history. I still I think I was in I think I was a junior in high school when this first came out. Playing midnight release the first weekend just like just like they do as tradition. First weekend is double XP weekend. Back then that was insane. Everyone's like, dude, I'm grinding all weekend. My goal back then was like to prestige right away that first night. We go out to midnight release, go to GameStop with my friends. I actually have a video somewhere on my phone. But we'd uh we we'd go get it, come right home, take off school the next day, and we'd grind all night. It was so fun. Different times for sure. Let me know in the comments down below though. What's your highest kills? I guarantee none of you have me beat. Guarantee it. I'm one of the OGs. I know you guys know that I sweat a lot and stuff, but that's not really the thing of this channel. It's really just like mess around and frag out. So I do sweat, but I also mess around like a ton. <laughs> Probably more than I should, honestly. But that's what I have fun doing. So back then, though, whoo, whoo, Remy was a total sweat, dude. I actually have a picture I took on my cell phone at the time. This is how many kills I got. That's the max kills I ever got on Nuketown. Let me know down below. I want to know in the comments what's your highest kills on Nuketown. Any of them. It doesn't matter. This was the OG Nuketown, though. I got 203 kills on. Trust me, I had people on the opposite team backing out like crazy. It had to keep filling as well. So there were a ton of 15th prestiges even just backing out, man. I'll never forget it. It was crazy. I also used to play on like a 7.5 inch TV. TV with a built-in DVD player and I would do this kind of stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. But let me know down below. Like, subscribe, share with a friend. I really appreciate it, guys. Let's get into the video. Okay, so right off rip here, I just want to show you that Activision support put out that they fixed the issue with giving rewards out for monster energy skins. Uh, if you didn't know, I actually have a YouTube video coming out in like one hour after this video is posted. It's on how to get the monster energy skins. There are three operators, one blueprint, and then like a bunch of double XP. Oh, you also get like a gun decal and stickers or something like that too. I'll have a YouTube video on it literally posted probably an hour after this. Probably by the time you're seeing this video, the video will be out. So make sure you're subscribed. Check out the channel. Make sure you like both videos. It's over there. Go check it out. Get yourself some free operators. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. But I actually was having this issue as well. I finally got my operators today. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll pull those up. We'll pull those up. All right. So it's right under the uh, Alvarez. Alvarez. That person. With a weird hat. Looks like a mushroom hat. Did you ever see the mushroom guy on uh, Joe Rogan? It kind of looks like his mushroom hat. I don't know. It reminds me of that at least. So these are the skins right here. We got her, her, her. I guess it's all her. But uh, yeah, these different colors. The blue is pretty cool. Green is pretty cool. And I think that's white, right? It's either white or bright blue. I think it's white. This one's my favorite though. Not just because it's the last. Although I don't know if that's like a psychological thing. Maybe it is because it's the last one, you know, but I don't know. The green one actually looks pretty tight, too. And I like the blue. Okay, we're going with the white either way. Either way, we're going with the white. But yeah, if we inspect her, we'll turn her around. That's right. Got the mags. Looks real cool. Looking a little flat in the back, you know, but we can work on that. We can work on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is flat as fuck. Nothing we can't work on. A couple squats, you know. Pink one would be pretty cool, honestly. That rosé kind. I think it's called rosé. Turns out I actually had one. It's Ultra Strawberry Dreams. Yeah, but basically these rewards weren't coming through. And uh, yeah, now now today, if you didn't get them, you should have them. If not, I don't know, man. Contact, contact support or just like wait till the next one, the next update on it. I'm sure other people still have problems with it. Uh, I'll show you the gun blueprint. Actually looks sick. But what I'm a really big fan of is the fact that you can put the camos on it. And if we go over to, I mean, any of these camos bleed through. Uh, the gold one looks really cool. Spin around in case my face cam's there. But then the diamond also looks really sick too. Yeah, that's pretty sick, dude. I, I go through all of them in the Dark Matter one, my actual uh, YouTube video on it. So make sure you check that out. You should have all these items after today though. And then the uh, large decals as well right there. Now on the bright side, you don't have to worry about popping any of those double XP tokens you get from here, which are a ton of them. Because Nuketown this weekend is double XP all weekend. We go into our playlist here. We see Nuketown 24-7. If we hit info... 
the funny thing about this, if you go over to game modes right there, take away my face cam. So they actually had kill order on here, but they did say it was only going to be domination, hard point, kill confirmed, and team deathmatch. They did have kill order on there, but then they took it off like right away with an update, like, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes later, which I thought was hilarious because so many people don't like kill order. It's a cool game mode, I guess, but i feel like if you want it you don't want it in a mosh pit or anything you want it in a specific game type for those people that want to play that kind of like search and destroy i guess it doesn't play anything like it but like those people that want to play search want to play search the people that don't want to play search they'll do anything to avoid it you know kind of just like kill order not a lot not a lot of people want to like play that it, the game the game honestly goes way too quick and it's just kind of like not fun in my opinion but like I said, unless I'm going to strictly play that, I don't really want to play it. Now, if you'd like to play Nuketown 24-7 in Hardcore, they have that as well. If you go over to Filter, tab over to Hardcore, and you can select it right there. Mine's already pre-selected. Okay. They also have that in Face Off uh, Mosh Pit. I don't know if you guys know that. That's that's a lot of fun. It's way easier to uh, grind camos with headshots and stuff like that. Especially the launchers. The launchers are a tough one. Speaking of launchers, I'm not 100% sure, but I have heard that they tried fixing... Uh, basically the fact that if you would shoot it, something out of the air or field upgrade, it would count as two kills for rocket launcher kills. But, uh, I, I did hear they fixed it. it. might not be fixed for you. That might be something you want to keep an eye out for. But that was a thing where you would shoot something out of the air and you get two kills for it. So it was a lot easier. While we're on the subject of that too, they also fixed the bug where going for diamond camos on certain guns, you'd have to get a triple kill and you would get literally one kill in a game. It would count as three. You, you would like, like I would check it right after a game. I'd say, okay, let's see how many triples I got. And uh, it turned out that I already got them and it was done. And it was just a bug. You would get one kill to count as three. It was actually really nice. But if you haven't like grinded, grinded, like I, I've played this game a bit, but I haven't been able to like grind grind have been pretty busy so if you hit it you hit it unfortunately if you didn't you missed out on a lot of easy ones right there it's still not a hard task to do but it was just a lot easier at the time but that is fixed now as well i think jev was the first one that i heard that this was a bug when i first found out and then we also still have infected face off mosh pit i think a lot of people were wondering if that was going to go away whenever uh nuke town come out i'm a fan of face off i think it's nice very small maps and it's something that i'd want to actually play like with or prefer against Nuketown every now and then just to mix it up because they are small enough where it's like, I mean, I think some of them are smaller than Nuketown. Like that apartment one stakeout, that's probably is. It's kind of like a little shipment, you know, it's just like a little mix, you know? But yeah, then we have a uh, kill order as well in its own separate game mode, as it should be in my opinion. The problem here is face off mosh pit, kill order still in it. I think that should be eliminated. In my personal opinion, I don't think it should be in there at all. Anytime I get that, I'm out. Now, also, a lot of people are wondering if you can stack double XP. You cannot stack double XP. I'm pretty sure you used to in the past, but if we go to it right here, it's it's all locked. It's all locked. You can't stack it. You can't waste it, thank God. But, uh, you know, once this weekend's over, you'll still have more double XP to use, which is... It's, it's pretty good in this because I, I'm almost able to prestige, and I don't have any guns unlocked. Like... There, I don't think any of them are max level. Maybe some snipers. I don't even think all my snipers are, though. And I have them all diamond. The leveling in this is just kind of crazy for guns. That's all I have for today, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with a friend. And then also check out that Monster Energy uh, video I have for free operators, blueprints. I think they're definitely worth it. So you also don't need to do exactly what people are saying for it. So make sure you check out my video on it. All right. There's some misleading information out there. I'm out. Peace.